What's up guys, Chris from All About The Galaxy Beam and uh, I'm doing this video because I wanted to update you about the situation regarding the um, custom ROM for the Samsung Galaxy Beam GTI 8530 uh, which uh, was, I started um, the project, I started like uh, six months ago I gave it to two developer teams which delivered absolutely nothing so I'm in a pretty shitty situation that um, I collected the money from you guys, $1,300, and um, there were promises, and nothing happened because some uh, people which call themselves developers uh, let me down. So that's pretty shitty, and I'm pretty pissed off. So, what's the deal? Um, the project is obviously still up for me, I don't want to give it up that easy. Um, and uh, I'm searching for, I search for another team, I search for many teams, <laughs> which is really hard. Uh, even on all the freelance sites, Odesk, Freelancer, um, Elance, uh, you can't really find proper people there. In my opinion, a lot of them are just incompetent, talk a lot, uh, or are fraudsters. So it's very hard to pick somebody which doesn't want $20,000 for a fucking job. Um, yeah, so the thing, the thing is uh, um, that. Um, Beside me searching for another team, there is Dennis. Dennis is a Russian developer which already did the TVRP uh, recovery for our beautiful smartphone here. Uh, and um, he's the first one that managed to start up CyanogenMod. So basically he's the first one that created CyanogenMod CM10. That's based on Jellybean. That's the first step. Um, that uh, I already posted that basically on my Facebook page. Facebook slash all about the galaxy beam, that's where you can find me uh, and um, so basically a couple of days ago he managed to boot it up with some little help from me and some help from Marius um, doing some research and giving some ideas um, and uh, now the thing is with that ROM that um, it works, there are still things which don't work like the projector APK, the camera doesn't work properly, MTP and uh, 3G internet. So those are the four main things which uh, still need to be fixed. Uh, after that is done, um, Dennis is uh, working on that. Uh, after that is done, um, um, I am going to publish that, he's going to publish that, we are going to publish that. So you will get the link um, to download that Cyanogen mod version onto your smartphone. So hopefully this stupid thing or lag will be gone forever. After that, um, Dennis is already trying to uh, search for CM11, which means KitKat sources, so he can uh, give us uh, KitKat. Um, so basically the ideal case is that he is going to be the one that will take over the project that some other idiots, which call themselves developers, uh, did not uh, manage to do. Um, and um, yeah, that's the idea. So uh, after CM11, um, I spoke to him, uh, there might be a possibility, well, he will try it, to make a CM12, so lollipop for the Samsung Galaxy Beam GTI F530. That's the ideal case. Um, OTG, there are some things which, uh, which were working, but as I said, this is still all, uh, it's not a finished ROM yet, okay, so I cannot give you any links um, because I just it just doesn't work 100% and it's pointless if I give you something that doesn't work 100%. Um, so please don't ask me uh, where the links are and um, don't ask me when you will get it because I don't know uh, when it will be finished. Um, but at the moment it doesn't, it goes pretty well I would say. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, after my blah blah talk, there will be uh, Dennis showing you, he's not speaking, but still he will show you uh, he will, he's going to start up Cyanogen Mod 10.1 on his Samsung Galaxy Beam and he will go through it so you will see basically um, that it's working on the Samsung Galaxy Beam. Um, yeah. So that's it from my side and uh, I speak to you soon. Just wanted to give you this quick update. Thank you very much for watching and uh, uh, all the news are always on my Facebook and Twitter. And I'm a bit sick, that's why my voice is a bit funny. So, sorry. Thank you, anyway, and see you soon.